Okay, Asher, how long have you been selling shoes? How do you like it so far? Everything has pros and cons. What have you learned that you liked and what have you learned that you don't like about selling sneakers? Thanks for tuning in to your baby mama's favorite YouTuber. Like, what the fuck are you? You wanna be a YouTuber? You wanna sell shoes? The fuck? My guy just brought me two pair of these in. Dead stock, we got a size. What sizes do we have? We got a 12 and a half. We got 11 and a half. Two good sizes. We're about to do a coin flip. 500, 480. 500, 480. All right, flip it. I call it an error. Heads. About <laughs> time I finally won. About <laughs> time I finally won something. Uh, I think I'm winning one with him, man. But like I said, if y'all selling these, sell them to us. Appreciate you, man. Always good business. So uh, we sampling. We trying something new with the voiceover. So longtime customer of mine, she brought in a sneaker lot, starting off with these 14s. Now I will say this was the worst condition shoe out of all of them, but they they still not too bad. I think we still can get them off. Military blue fours look like they was worn maybe three to five times. I don't personally know how many times she wore the shoe, but just judging on the condition. These right here, she probably wore them once or twice if I if I had to guess. They did just come out, so with the condition and the price, I'ma snatch those. The Gratitude 11s, hella clean. I like these so much because they already tint the bottoms to make them look like kind of yellow, so when you wear them, they don't look pissy. Then we got the West Cement 4s. Look at the bottom, very clean, very demure, very thoughtful, very classy. I appreciate her. Anytime she brings shoes in, I'm gonna buy them because they're gonna be a good price and they're gonna be clean. Canyon Purples, same thing. Now, the only pair that I was skeptical about and I did pass on was these dunks. Now, she told me that she got these from like her cousin or her uncle or something, and they just looked off. They barely fit in the box. The box coloring was like off. And me personally, like I'm not the best always when it comes to shoes that I don't get in frequently, but if I feel like if something is off, I'm just gonna pass it and go with my first instinct and go with my gut because nine times out of 10, I probably was right. Y'all let me know in the comments, was they real or was they fake? Now, she did tell me 300 bucks for all of them, I told her that I would give her 400 just cause. And if y'all see that shoe in her hand, I told her to take it with her cause I didn't want them. But yeah, we're gonna go to the next clip. What's her name? Asher. Okay, Asher. How long have you been selling shoes? Like since March. How do you like it so far? It's been good. What have you learned that you liked and what have you learned that you don't like about selling sneakers? Probably just going to events and selling shoes. Okay. And then I have not liked getting sold fake shoes because that's happened. And that was like a $450 loss. Dang. What kind of shoes did you buy that was fake? Chunky Dunks. Chunky Dunks? Yeah. Wow. But what did you do with them after you found out they were fake? They're still at the house. Dang. And shout out to your dad for driving you around, man. Shout out dad for driving us around doing the sneaker right, meetups. Jay, thanks, Appreciate you, man. Check this out. Shout out the brand. Back says Born to Be Wild. Front says Wild Child. If you want them, make sure you hit us up on Instagram. Yeah, this wasn't a paid promo either. He did it for free. <laughs> we got two pair of Polaroids. He wanted to do a straight trade. I told him to add 20 bucks. So we're going to do a coin flip. If you remember, he was in our video last week when we did the coin flip for the Lightnings. And it was like 150, 170. No, 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 no. UNCs. Oh, the UNCs. Okay. He corrected me. My bad. Heads or tails? Heads. So after we did that coin flip with Asher, he uh grabbed another shoe out the car. He wanted 300 for it. I couldn't personally pay the 300, so I told him I'd give him some store credit. He ended up picking these three pairs of shoes out: the Georgetown three size seven, these Fire Red three size six and a half, but they didn't have a box, and then some Cardinal Red three size seven, and they had original box. Now I end up trading him three pairs of shoes, which I know it may seem like a lot. These three, they always use at 90 bucks a piece we had them at, so that's 270. I end up trading them for this shoe right here. Y'all let me know if this was a good trade. I personally feel like it was a good trade for me because all those other shoes, I was selling them at 90. I paid like $50 a piece, so that means I paid like 150 for all three of those. So I technically got these off-white dunks for 150 bucks. I personally can't beat that. Y'all let me know in the comments though. Coming back at you strong with a three-piece pickup. So a customer brought these Shashiko Industrial Blue Dunks. These were a size 10 or 10 and a half, I believe. The next shoe was the Reverse Brazils. I'm actually getting tired of seeing this shoe. Like, we got like five or six pairs of these at the store. Like, I always get them for cheap, but they take forever to sell. And the last one was a pretty good shoe. Great for the fall. It's the Undefeated. Um, I forget the exact name, but it's going to be right here. 
Uh, you don't see this too often, and this was pretty clean. All of them got original box, so we made him an offer. His mom also brought some shoes in, too. She had these mids. Uh, they looked like they was worn like once, maybe twice. And then these New Balance 574s. We passed on those just because, like, they're hard to sell. You can see me giving him the money right here. We got all three of those for 100 bucks. Moving along, we had a new customer bring a couple pairs. We're not really buying too many used pairs, but if you got some used, it's like this clean or it's for a good price, we'll still take them. Even though we only looking for a brand new, but, bro, white cement fours, they didn't have a box, but look how clean they are. Bro, like, they so clean, you can smack your mama. Bro, what do y'all know about the countdown pack? So if you don't know, this shoe is a Jordan 19. It came with a Jordan 4 bread and it equals to 23. So it's like six different pairs. 19 plus 4 is 23. So that's why I came with the bread for us. You got these right here. When is the last time y'all seen a pair of these? I didn't end up grabbing these, but like they was hella clean. Bro, when have y'all seen some Black Hat 13s this clean? The box was beat, but the shoes was clean. So, so we end up grabbing these white cement fours. We grabbed these 19s. We grabbed those 12s right there. We grabbed those 11s and the Black Cat 13s, all for 300 bucks. A lot of people start bringing a lot of pairs in. So I'm like, let me turn my low ball up a little bit. So, you know, you got these right here. Bro, why the hell is this string not in there and it's inside the shoe? Like, bro, you could have took two minutes out of your day and laced that shoe up. Moving to the next one. What shoe was I just complaining about? They brought another pair of these. Bro, I'm getting tired of seeing this damn shoe, bro. So you know what? Since y'all want to bring both of these in, I'm going to give you $60. Like, I really didn't want them, but for 60, I'll take them. Got the fours right here and got the 12s. Now, the 12s, I would have took them. Well, I am going to take them. I would have took them for more, but he lost the souls. And to do a coin flip right now, 170, 180. My What's dog. good with you, man? Where y'all been? Good, for sure. So, coin, if I win 170, if you win 180, All right, let's get it. you got the coin? Oh, no, you got one in here? I didn't bring a coin in. Who I got think a I do. Hold on. You got a quarter in your pocket? I got a quarter in my pocket. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, brother. Nah. 12 is going to be the top. They mixed in a 12 and 13 at the top, bro. Yeah, it's going to start It's gonna start on this side, bro, uh, at the top. Let me see. Oh, you want to do it? I'm going to flip. You going to call. All right, man. Just look at the top. Tails, A-L-B. His head. What it is? Man, 170. Y'all can tell. My boy, bro. Yeah. 170, bro. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Show y'all again what we got. Huh? Hell yeah. Appreciate you, man. Hey, bro. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Bro, he said they got a car full of shoes, so we about to see. Bro, you at work. Shut up. Let's see what they got, bro. They said they got hella pairs. Damn, y'all do got hella shit. Yeah. Where y'all come from? Popper Bluff, Missouri. You said Palm Bluff? Popper Bluff. Popper it's Bluff. Like, you know where Cape is? Nah. -uh. Cape Girardeau. Uh, like, it's like a couple hours from St. Louis. Okay. So we cart, we'll load them in, see what we can do. If we can work numbers and buy some shit. Y'all on YouTube, so shit. We be, we be buying all the time, man. So when they said they had a lot of shoes in the car, I didn't expect this many pairs at all. I'm not even gonna hold you. Now we're gonna go through the pairs. And I'm gonna let y'all try to guess which pairs that we kept and which pairs we didn't. So the fours, the dunks. It was a lot of pairs that was older pairs. Like this pair right here. It was a custom. I don't really know who did the custom. I wouldn't personally buy this shoe just because like customs don't really sell. But if it's your preference and it sells for you, hey shit, do what you gotta do. These I passed on them zoom flies. Nobody. I haven't seen this shoe in forever, bro. Some Yeezys. Market is kind of crazy on them right now just because the controversy and all the stuff that's going on with Yeezy. We had some sixes, some ones, some Air Forces. What else do we have in there? I can't even think off the top of my head, but it was just a whole lot of stuff in there. And it was like hella more pairs inside the car that had no boxes. Disclaimer, we don't buy pairs without original boxes anymore. Why not? Just because the boxes, they kind of add value and take away from value. So I understand a lot of y'all, y'all throw y'all boxes away and get the clear containers. But hey, listen, if you can, save those boxes. It's going to add value to the shoe. It's going to help you when selling it. And you never know like when you might want to sell it. Say, say like, comment, and subscribe. Say, say like, comment, and subscribe. No! Oh!